Hello everyone, it's me Denim and welcome to my test worlds. I used the same seed as last time I did a tutorial because a lot of people liked it. It kind of looks like Italy. Uh, that were the comments about it. It's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, I used it again. Today I'm going to teach you how to make an infinite EMC generator. Um, the basic idea is every block has EMC. For example, gravel has 4 EMC, wool has 48, and there are some, well, exploits in the game that allow you to generate an infinite amount of EMC and then create whatever item you want using the energy condensers. Um, okay, let's just get right into it and I'll try to explain as I go. Um, what you need before you start making this is a power supply. So you need some MFSUs with power in them. Without power you can't make um, rotary macerators or you can't power mot rotary macerators um, so you definitely need those for this to work um, so yeah I have some MFSUs over here they're currently filling up what time is it? noon? let's turn it to dawn uh, just so these stay filled up and then I've got these hooked up to some um, what are these called? transformers so this is an MV transformer and this is an LV transformer um, why? Well, I'll show you why. Um, if you just hook these up to high voltage power, which is what comes out of the EMC, boom, it explodes. And if you would hook, hook it up in the middle over here, it would explode as well. And if you would hook it up over here, it's perfectly fine. So uh, definitely, definitely make two of these. Um, yeah, the recipe is in, in TechIt. Um, just look that up. Um, LV and MV transformers. So uh, let's get to this. Let's place our rotary macerators because these are going to do all the work for us. Basically the block we are going to, well, let's say exploit because it's kind of an exploit, um, is the blaze rods. Um, let me get one. Mm, where are the blaze rods? Okay, so um, what happens when you Let's put this here. What happens when you put a blaze rod in a rotary macerator is it gets macerated. This blaze rod is getting macerated at the moment. This blaze rod has an EMC value of 1536 and when it gets macerated it'll give you 5 blaze powder of 768 each. Um, so that is a whole lot more if you, uh, if you do 7 times 5 is 3500 instead of 1500 so you basically double your EMC value um, now what we also have is these energy condenser chests yeah okay let's plonk one down and if you put blaze powder in there and you put another blaze rod let's get one more um, doo -doo. And you turn these five blaze powders back into a blaze rod, you'll get two, as you can see. Now, if you transport these two again to the rotary macerators, you'll get ten blaze powder, which which would mean four or five blaze rods. Um, so that's basically how it works. I'll teach you how to set one up now. Okay, let's get started. Um, let's start with the output. You always want to make one of these to generate some sort of output. Most people use it in a factory um, to create an infinite amount of source items to create a lot of, well, different items with. Um, I'm just going to use it to create red matter uh, for this tutorial. And I'm just going to show you the basics of filtering out items from, from a chest first, um, because that is all this requires its basic filtering knowledge. Um, basically what you do is you get a filter and you place it next to the chest and this setup will filter out all the items you put in here from this chest and also the amount of items. So say I put in um, 16 rotary macerators and we'll take this out and I'll put 16 rotary macerators. Well, yeah, let's put 32 in here and I turn this to the right position, you want this to face um, with the small circle towards you. So the small circle is the output. Let's just get some pipes in here. And I'll filter out 16. Now if you give this a redstone pulse, it'll filter out 16 items at a time. So if I put in 
a machine block, it won't filter it out. If I put in eight, it also won't filter it out. So um, whenever there are 16 rotary macerators in this chest, they'll get filtered out. So not eight, um, not seven, 16 or more you need. Um, yeah, that is basically it. Uh, these have been, nope, they haven't been converted. That is awesome. <laughs> um, so yeah, that is basic knowledge. You need redstone to give this a pulse. And every time this gets a pulse, it filters out the amount of items you put in here. If I put in 12, well, let's say two, three pneumatic tubes, and I put in 20 in here, it'll filter out three every tick. Okay, so our output is ready. Uh, we are going to create some red matter by filtering out the excess items into from that energy condenser. Um, now, the only thing left to do is create an excess amount of items in that energy condenser. Uh, and the way we are going to do that is by creating an infinite loop between this condenser and those macerators. Um, as I explained in the beginning, blaze rods are coming out of this chest into the macerators. Blaze powder is coming out of the macerators into that chest, creating a double, it's like creating twice as much. Um, and then, yeah, we'll just loop that and loop that until we have excess items. Um, so yeah, let's just get started with the basics. You have a chest or a condenser, you want items out of it, use a filter, um, face it towards you, small, the, well, the little circle. Um, and now you want to transport this with pneumatic tubes. I always use pneumatic tubes, I think they're the best to your macerators and you want them to be inputted or in, well, well you want the input from the top if you put the input from the top then the items are automatically going to end up in these slots and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a block in these um, just to make sure that there are no items uh, that, that, that no items end up in those slots because well they're not needed at the moment, uh, they're just excess. Um, you only want, well, I only use one slot. I have these clogged up in my uh, Let's Play world as well. So the blaze rods are going in here. Uh, let's see if this works actually. Uh, let's put some blaze rods in here. Let's put in five and we'll filter out five and we'll see if this works. So um, let's make it day. You want to filter these out to filter, well, to make these things work, you need a redstone signal. And I'm going to use a timer for that. What is a timer? Uh, a timer basically pulses every set time interval. So at the moment, it's set at two seconds. That means every two seconds, this filter is going to look for five blaze rods in this chest and filter them out. Um, so yeah, that's basically what it is. You can start and stop a timer by just getting input from this side. Uh, it's very specific. It's this side, not this side. Oh, oh, it doesn't matter actually. Oh, I didn't know that. Wow, I've learned something. Oh, it's not this side, okay. Um, so yeah, basically get a timer and hook it up to your filters. And every time it ticks, it'll filter out five blaze rods on this side. These will go into the macerators, as you can see. And if you want these to be on continuously, uh, as in rotating, just place levers and keep them on. Uh, I did this by pressing shift and right click and I just turn them on. They'll automatically keep their speed, um, but they'll be using energy constantly. So uh, if you don't want that, just don't use levers. Uh, after a while you won't be using these if you keep this on because there will be a constant input of blaze rods. So yeah, we have 10 blaze powder at the moment. Let's just keep that in here and we'll continue with the uh, last part of the tutorial. Okay, so the last thing we need to do is just filter out these blaze, rod, uh, blaze powders. Um, so as you can see, We've, we've got 25 blaze powder in here and we need to transport these, well, this blaze powder. This is so annoying. <laughs> we need to transport this blaze powder back to the chest. Um, what I'm going to do is 
I'm not going to make it hard on myself. I'm just going to remove these. Um, and I'm going to place the filters on this side. Okay. So what does... We still need to turn this. Okay. Good. Um, and what we'll make these filters do is filter out the blaze powder that is in these slots. So you just place a filter, hook it up with um, pneumatic tubes, and like so. Oh, no. Like so. And input them in this chest. That's all you need to do. And uh, let's give these. Let's put these on the same clock, so I'll I'll use the same timer. Um, I don't know if this will work. Let's see if this works. Let's put the timer on two seconds again. No, nope, that doesn't work. Um, how are we going to do that? Let's get some blocks. We'll put some blocks underneath these filters and then we'll run the wire like this I guess yeah that works um, oh yeah if you don't put anything in a filter it'll just filter out anything um, so in this case it just filtered out all of the blaze powder it's not a problem it'll go into this chest and it'll get filtered out again uh, it doesn't really matter mm, but we'll put in some blaze powder when we get it anyway I think so yeah this is currently working let's just follow it one more time so this macerator has a blaze rod it'll generate blaze powder this blaze powder is being filtered out in these filters in these through these pneumatic tubes into this chest this chest makes well turns it into blaze rods again and these blaze rods will travel back there um, now as you could have seen the, the blaze rods are going that way so let's just stop that for now, um, just so that I don't really have to refill this all the time. Um, yep, so there's five going out again. And five coming in, it'll create three. Five coming in again, it'll create six probably. No, five, five will be filtered out, and so on. The only thing left to do is we need to tweak this. Okay, I've been messing with it for a little while and I think I've got it tweaked. Um, all of these rotary macerators are being used at the moment. How? Um, I've got an output of five blaze rods every one and a half seconds. Let's check up on this chest. So this is all the blaze rods I have and all the blaze powder is coming in. That is really good. Uh, and at the moment I have 10 blaze rods being filtered towards our red matter chest over here. I've already got 6 red matter in about 3 minutes I think. Um, every time, so yeah let me just explain this. Um, there's two filters on one chest and they both are filtering out blaze rods as you can see. Um, 5 are being filtered out that way and 10 are being filtered out that way. So every time this filter finds five blaze rods in that chest it'll filter it out so obviously this one is going to be filtering out first if there are no more than five blaze rods in this chest this one will not filter out anything because it looks for 10 okay so every time there are 10 blaze rods in this chest it'll filter it out on the same pulse if there are not 10 blaze rods in this chest it won't do anything so only the excess blaze rods are going that way to generate some red matter. Um, for the rest, I think this is pretty clear. Now these pipes are going to get clogged up um, pretty soon. <laughs> and that's a good thing. So you want a continuous supply of blaze rods to your macerators. And I don't have filters in this. Basically this can filter out whatever it wants. Um, it'll go to the chest anyway. At the moment it filters out about 10 at a time, maybe 15 sometimes, so 30 every tick are being filtered out back into this chest, um, so yeah, that is pretty good and I think we are done here I think that is that is all, I hope this was a little bit clear for you guys I hope you enjoyed this video um, if it wasn't clear, just 
post a comment in the comments and I'll gladly respond to it. And uh, for the rest, happy building and I'll see you guys next time.